I'm back. I broke my microphone a couple of weeks ago, so I haven't done any kind of, uh, I haven't done any talking to myself for a couple of weeks. I just got my new microphone through from Action Cameras. Did a bit of a cheeky 10% off with Von 10. And uh, yeah, so I've got a new mount for the camera, which is a clamp style mount. So I'm going to uh, experiment with a couple of things of that, a couple of positions, and I've got a new uh, microphone for the camera. Although the cable for this... <laughs> fucking idiots, man. So the cable for this microphone is a fair amount shorter than my old ones. I've been riding my new bike for a couple of weeks, quite happy with it, and uh, it's going well. The last video you saw, I did a, a like a stubby carbon fibre exhaust cam, which I put on it, but to be honest, it actually wasn't running very well with it, um, when it was cold anyway. I don't know if that's to do with the cat or uh, it's, it needs tuning to have the, uh, you know, such little back pressure. So at the moment, I'm still running what is essentially a stubby can. So the stubby can looks shit. It sounded great, <laughs> like some sort of race bike, but the it, it didn't look very nice at all. It didn't suit the bike. So I had a bit of a brainwave because I wasn't really too keen on cutting down my Scorpion exhaust because they're not that cheap. And it didn't come with a baffle. So I thought if I cut it down and it's too noisy or go on a long trip, not that it'll probably happen because I like them loud, but I wouldn't be able to put a baffle in it to quiet it down. And once I cut it, I cut it, you know? So I had a brainwave, which is what I did to my uh, Range Rover V8, which was to get a, 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 a pipe with the outer diameter just smaller than the inside diameter of the exhaust. So I've sleeved the Scorpion exhaust. I'll put some pictures up. I sleeved the Scorpion exhaust internally about two thirds of the way up the, uh, the silencer. So effectively only, only a third of the silencer is doing anything now and it sounds okay it's it's louder it's beefier it's got a really nice tone when it gets above about 7,000 rpm but it is a bit raspy when it's cold and I think it would sound better with a shorter exhaust a shorter exhaust but not as short as a stubby one and definitely not as long as this scorpion one Oh, nice little Morgan. It's been an absolute glorious summer of commuting. If there is such a thing as glorious commuting, it's been so quiet this year. Whether all the hot weather in July made everyone book their holidays so they didn't want it to end or not, I don't know. But the summer holidays here have been epic. There's just no traffic whatsoever. And I hate it. I think, what, what's it today? 29th of August. So I should think starting next week the schools are going to go back. Geez, she's tiny. She couldn't stop a pig in a passage, as my old man would say. Uh, I'll follow her for a bit. So it's been glorious getting to and from work. It takes minutes rather than tens of minutes. I hope this microphone's working. I did an update of the firmware on the camera, so it's all gonna be working again properly. What else is new? People have been trying to knock me off my bike recently, or I've been fucking up. Oh. So uh, it's it's interesting riding, I'm not gonna, I'll give her a wide berth. So. Yeah, people seem to be not noticing me or pulling out or, Maybe I'm going a little bit too fast, which is more than likely. I'll put a couple of videos up, but you know, I mean, nine times out of 10, I can pretty much guess that someone's gonna pull out when they pull out on me. I guess just through, well, experience, I suppose. I'm already pretty much covering the horn by the time they do their maneuver. So I'm sort of bang on the horn pretty quickly. So there's these two videos now. First one was a white car. I think I was going too fast. He didn't see me in his blind spot. If he looked at his blind spot, I don't think he did. And 
next one's just someone not even looking, but again, I was covering the horn at that point because it's a prime spot for people to move out of that left lane into the middle. Then it's just general idiocy. Oh, I know what I could talk about. The lovely uh, Pickle Poo was, uh, messaged me the other day. So I was describing some injuries I sustained in an accident. Because um, I think she was asking why I had to put a Clicktronic on this bike. Because, well, well, my other bike has a Clicktronic too to change the, uh, change the gears because my left leg doesn't really work that well. Um, and the reason being from that is because I broke my back in an accident about 10 years ago and uh, it, it, it damaged the nerves to my left leg. Thankfully, the, uh, the cock works. So this accident was 10 years ago. Uh, what basically happened, I was happily riding along on my CBR 600. Um, it was through a town, so I wasn't going fast from a village. I went to go over the brow of a hill, obviously middle of my side of the road, and some freaking car came up the hill on the other side on my side of the road to overtake a parked car that was on the crest so instead of them driving up to the back end of the parked car uh, having a look to see if the if it was clear for them to overtake they didn't they just started their maneuver halfway up the hill and just went for it so we met in the middle of this hill basically I suffered quite a few injuries I was I don't think I was knocked unconscious. I have memories of being there and not being able to breathe at all. So the injuries were, I broke six ribs, uh, some in the front, some in the back. I broke my sternum. I broke both bones in my right arm, right forearm, so that's all plated up. I broke uh, my right femur in a couple of places, including near the ball socket, which rotated. I broke my pelvis in three places, which is kind of now twisted a bit. It didn't, it didn't quite set straight. I broke some parts of my back between L2 and 5, which is where the nerve damage has come from. Dislocated my left shoulder and my left ankle. And then internally, uh, I had a collapse. Both lungs were collapsed. The left one had blood on it and the right liquid. There's hemothorax or something, a pneumothorax, I can't remember now. So I could hardly breathe. Uh, my my uh, my tire my diaphragm got ripped in the impact, and my stomach got pushed through into my chest cavity, and I got lacerations of the kidneys and liver. All in all, not a great day. And then four and a half months in hospital after pretty much dying a couple of times in the helicopter on the way to uh, Hayward Heath Hospital. This was in West Sussex at the time. So yeah, four and a half months, child I couldn't walk again, um, in a wheelchair for a long time and then with uh, physio up to crutches and learning to walk again and stuff. So be careful out there. There's a famous junction from the front cover of the Beatles album, Abbey Road. People always bloody walking in and out of it. Or on and off it. There they are, look. <laughs> One thing I really want to get some advice about is some uh, computer or video editing software. I did a couple of trials of Adobe Premiere because I used it back in the university days. So I was able to use that for the first couple of videos and then I got 
a trial version of what did I get a trial version of? No, it's a Mac software. Something Pro 10. But anyway, it's just a trial one, and I saw how much it was to buy. It's ridiculously expensive. So, a budget video editor. I don't mind if it takes a bit to learn. I'm not saying it has to be easy. I don't mind learning something. Yeah, so I could do with some software for the Mac, to be honest. So if anyone could recommend me some good video editing software, please leave a comment. And hopefully I can get myself set up properly, although winter is on its way. Obviously I'll be riding all the way through it, but might not be much interesting going on.